Hello and welcome AVG News viewers. My name is Mkoli Sinube. I'm here to give a brief update on the Zimbabwe exemption permits, uh, especially for those who applied for either a waiver or a permit who have paid the banks but have still not been, uh, the, the, their payments are still not showing and who therefore cannot book an appointment to go and submit their documents at VFS Global, it is a worrying issue because we keep on getting more and more of these people, who, some of who paid more than a month ago, but their payment has seemingly not been processed. We don't know what exactly is happening. Is it the problem with the bank? Is it the problem with this institution? Because there are others who have paid, who managed to book their appointments because the system has captured the payment details uh, so right now what we have done is we have reached out again to vfs global to try and have them attend to this particular problem which seems to be growing by the day because initially we thought it was just a few people but now it seems there are many people in this problem started more than a month ago and people are still some of them have already written to the email address that we gave we don't know if uh their problems are going to be attended to uh, as soon as possible because we know that time is running away uh, time is running out rather for them because by june next year everything else needs to have been done those who are approved need to have their uh, permits in hand those who have been uh turned away need to have planned life after the ZEP. So we have written again to the VFS Global to try and have them look into this issue. We are going to call them again on Monday to try and find out if the problem is on their side or it is on the bank side. But we don't think it could be a problem to do with the bank. It could be a problem to do with VFS Global uh, system. So we have written to them. We hope that they are going to attend to this and we hope that maybe by next week, by end of next week, all your payment details will be showing so that you can go ahead and book appointments so that you can go and submit, provided that uh, you have submitted whatever is needed, a decision be taken. If you have failed to meet the requirements, you need to be told so that you can try any other avenues or try another uh, permit or waiver application. Because at the end of the day, uh, the future of Zimbabweans in South Africa needs to be decided. And it can only be decided based on the number of people who applied, the number of people who got their permits, and those who failed to get their permits. We know there are court cases going on. There are some who are saying that they are waiting for the court cases and others who say that they have not been applying because they've been waiting for the court, uh, for the outcome of the court cases. But we don't know exactly when these matters are going to be tried and we don't know the outcome of uh, the trials. We also don't know the government's own response to whatever outcome will be reached by the courts. So uh, it is a waiting game uh, which we cannot... Uh, determine for you what decision you need to take because this has become a personal matter between you and the South African government because unlike before where people would just be told that go and apply and they would apply on the basis of being Zimbabweans in South Africa this has now uh, come down to an individual. Do you qualify as an individual or you don't? And that's what based on the Immigration Act of South Africa, the government is going to consider uh, for your applications. So for those who are still awaiting uh, in a, uh, the application portal to show their payment details so that they can book their appointments, please be patient, but continue to write to the VFS Global on the email that we have been giving out to you or the email that we're going to share with you as soon as you contact us so that individually again uh, 
your case will be attended to but broadly we have written to them to inform them that there is something wrong with their system hoping that it is their system or believing that it is their system which is causing these delays so we hope that they are going to attend to that they haven't responded to us yet as soon as they do respond if they're going to respond we will tell you but we'll also call them probably on monday because this problem seems to be going and people are now uh, uh afraid that they could have maybe paid their money into the wrong hands so thank you very much please subscribe to this channel like this video and share it